Covalent bonding is the topic for today. Really key idea here. We're talking about when two non-metals share a pair of electrons. So the example on the board here is oxygen, which has six outer electrons, so it needs two, so it can share those electrons with another oxygen to form an oxygen molecule. Another example is water, where again we want a complete outer shell. So we of course have a song. You've got covalent bonds. You've got covalent bonds. When two non-metals need a complete shell, they can share a pair of electrons well. The bonds are weak, but they will get on swell. Yeah, you've got covalent bonds. Yeah, you've got covalent bonds. You've got covalent bonds. You've got covalent bonds. When two non-metals need a complete shell, they can share a pair of electrons well. The bonds are weak, but they will get on swell. Yeah, you've got covalent bonds. Yeah, you've got covalent bonds. You've got covalent bonds. You've got covalent bonds. Two non-metals need a complete shell, they can share a pair of electrons well. The bonds are weak, but they will get on swell. Yeah, you've got covalent bonds. Yeah, you've got covalent bonds. You've got covalent bonds. You've got covalent bonds. But two non-metals need a complete shell, they can share a pair of Covalent bonds. So, as we said before, the examples to think about. We are sharing a pair of electrons between two non-metals. That's covalent bonds. Yay!